afternoon crafty peeps i have a new project share for you this is for my design team nanny keola scrapbooking.com and i first off wanted to say that this um august is going to be my last month with them they are doing a design team call and i will have them with them for a year so they're looking for some new blood so if you are interested in applying for the design team please visit their website at nannykeolascrapbooking.com and you can find out uh, it'll take you to their blog and you can find out um, whatever you need to do to apply or you can check out their Facebook page. So this little um, cutie pie that I made today was a tea bag holder um, and I originally got this from Saw Crafters um, last year when I was at uh, the Arlington um, scrapbooking expo and I helped her out and um, I thought these were really cute every southern home needs to have a tea holder or I mean it's just a southern staple that's all I've got to say um, I do drink iced tea um, but maybe not a lot of whole people do um, but I can say that um, I thought that this came out really cute. I'm going to be putting this up for sale and I've decided to open up a little Etsy shop um, to start selling some of my items, but um, that probably um, will happen within the next week or so. Um, and I'm also getting ready for a craft fair. So if I don't sell this on there, I'll definitely take it to the craft fair with me. So um, I love how it has a little door here. And the papers that I used were Tea Time. I mean, doesn't that make sense? Tea Time by Craft and You Design, which is sold um, at nannykeolascrapbooking.com. And I just absolutely love these papers. Now, the papers that I used um, were um, one, two, three. So Tea Time, one, two, and three on the website. That's how it's listed. And then I believe I used number five. So, um, I think that's where this one comes from. And I meant to mention that in the blog, but I did not. So anyway, I thought it turned out really cute. Basically, um, this came um, unpainted and not put together. So I had to paint it and put it together. I first used gesso and then I used this um, Craft Smart paint. Um, and the only reason why I got this Craft Smart paint, because I had to do several layers, even though I used gesso because it's so thin, um, was because it had the Robin's Egg Blue, which I love this color. So, um, and I haven't been able to find anything that's, um, very close to this. If you know of it, that's in a different brand, let me know. Cause Craft Smart is just okay. I just had to do a lot of layers. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So, um, and then I, after I glued together and I painted it and gessoed it, um, I attached the little handle to the top and then I applied my paper after that. The glue that I use is art glitter glue. I love this glue. It's amazeballs. And then of course I just finished off the bottom with paint. Now I am going to spray this with a, uh, acryl a clear acrylic matte spray just to make sure that it's sealed because whoever, um, may be using this in their household and I want them to be able to clean it without any issues. Um, but other than that, I just applied some laces, um, some satin ribbon, and then this cute little, um, beaded. And I don't know if you can really see because for some odd reason, it just looks super bright. There we go. Ha! Okay. Um, this little beaded trim, and then I added this little pearl thingy. I don't know what it's called, but I thought it looked really cute. And, um, but that's it for my little project share. I hope y'all like it. Um, I hope to make several of these, but different kinds, um, or different uh, colors too. So anyway, I hope y'all have a wonderful and fabulous day. Bye y'all.